Tool Academy. We watched one episode and it's a show where it's a bunch of douchebags and their girlfriends sign them up for the show under the guise that it's gonna be for like the most alpha dude in America, Mr. Awesome. But it's really called Tool Academy and now it's a show about whether they can become cool, nice guys and save their relationship, but also for $100,000, which I think is most of their motivation. In episode one, we found out that almost half of them are cheating on their significant other already. No, no bull I take home at least 14 chicks every single week. <laughs> It didn't seem like a lot of them should even be on the show at all. It seemed like they should have broken up right then and there. And now we're on episode two. We only saw one couple leave already and they left together. He manipulated her last second before they got in the limo. I want to know that you're committed to me 100% and that I'm not wasting my time. I wouldn't worry about it. Nah, I personally wouldn't worry about it. I think you're okay. All right, but let's get into it. These captions need to fucking get it together. I'm officially enrolled into the Tool Academy and I'm pissed off, and I'm locked up with a bunch of tools in a freaking tool shed. Yeah, hold on. Oh, tool I shed, nice. Well, what are the other beer? That's why I got one. Josh is a pipsqueak. He's always competing against us bigger guys, like, well, because we're bigger and cooler naturally, you know? So, like, what would you rate your girl, like, in the bed, bro? Like, I mean, overall. I mean, like, my chick, it's like a nine, bro. I, I give it, like, maybe, like, a six. A six, bro. A six? There wait, 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 wait. You said that your chick does need to hit the gym. How many pounds do you think your chick needs to lose to make you happy, dude? I've never actually asked her what her weight is. She could be 300, she could be 200. I mean. Oh! 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 <laughs> Josh certainly isn't the sharpest one in the show. God damn, right swinging. God damn, these guys hate each other right off the bat. This is actually the first time we've even seen them kind of interact with each other. Before it was kind of just the girlfriend thing, and now they're starting to fucking take shots at each other. His girlfriend's fat, but whatever. Just because Josh defended his girlfriend, don't think he's a good guy, by the way. I'm pretty sure Josh is the one that does bowling and clubbing before he hangs out with his girlfriend. I don't know. I'm just glad that my chick's the hottest one. I, that's all I have to say. I'm like better off having sex with like a blow-up dog. Like, <laughs> you can see, immediately proved me right. Immediately proved me right. I said what I said, and I knew it. <laughs> I knew he was coming in for a line like that. Oh, no. <laughs> it's really no big deal. I mean, I can make that blow-up dog do more than Ash can do. I want to just be able to like flip it up and like just like start riding it like a pony, you know? She could be 200 pounds, 300 pounds, 400, 500 pounds. I don't care. I'm still fucking a blow-up doll. That's why I don't care. <laughs> Cause I got my blow up doll. Like put it out there, bro. Like yeah. all of our problems, right? Your chick says she's a virgin. Bull no girl that no. looks like that Bull is a virgin. And gets fake is a virgin. Is a virgin, bro. She's not a virgin. Oh, okay. no, no, she's, no, we haven't had sex. Oh, okay, okay. But, but okay. how many dudes she had sex with? Did you, did you ask you a three, bro? They oh. all say three. three. No, 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 no. <laughs> They've been together for what, seven months? and she still hasn't given him any ass. Don't what get that. This? this relationship still makes no sense to me. I said it last time, Matsuplex, a fucking stripper who had sex three days before he came on the show, is in a seven month relationship and hasn't had sex with her. I don't understand it. I do not get it. Get ready for this. She's had sex with three guys. Three black guys. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately cuts to the black guy. He's in the corner of the shades on. What the fuck? I wear size 12 and a half, 13. He wears size nine and a half. You do the math. Gentlemen, please report to the therapy room. I repeat, please report to the therapy room. The therapy room. Honestly, I wasn't looking forward to therapy. I got slapped once. Last like, time went so well. Why is his name card excited. Mega? Uh, fuck, what was it? Who remembers? Does anyone have an amazing memory for what it stands for? It stands for makes every girl aroused. Make every girl aroused. Fuck yeah. So this week, we're going to be working on fidelity. What the hell? After communication, it's probably the most important aspect of a relationship. Prior to starting at the academy, the guys took part in a photo shoot. There were three makeup artists hired to flirt with the guys. And they were all really hot. You were acting when your girlfriends weren't around. God, I love this guys. premise. I keep doing what this. What you guys <laughs> didn't know was that there was a hidden camera at the shoot recording all of your actions. We're running this back. So, Jenna and Matsuplex, let's take a look at your photo shoot. Oh, Matsuplex, come on, come on. You're good, man, come on. You took our date last time? There's no way, there's no way you hit on her. Hi, guys. 
Ryan Murphy. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Why don't you come sit over here, okay? All right. You're really cute. Well, thank you. You're, You're cuter. You're welcome. When I walked in, I was like, who's the girl in purple? Okay, okay, it could just be friendly right now. It could just be friendly. Matsu Flex, I have faith. I like this tattoo, it's awesome. Okay, oh, he's you. immediately shirtless. That was fast, but I still got faith. I have no shame, so I'm gonna be running around the house. Okay, his pants are it. now off. What the fuck is happening? What is happening? How did this happen so fast? Almost concerningly quick, and she is slapping his ass. It's maybe been three seconds since I first said I had faith. This went downhill quickly, but maybe he'll save it. Maybe there's a reason his pants are off. Oh, that's so tight. You can me all day. All right. Hey, what are you doing? My room's 603. I would love to have some company. Yeah, if you're serious. Okay. 603. Okay. And you gotta give me your number too, so okay, three yeah. weeks from now. <laughs> Alright, that yeah. sounds great. <laughs> the other fucking girlfriend <laughs> comforting her. Here, okay? Yes, you will for sure. Alright, good. Bye, bye. Okay. Okay, these have to be quite literally the worst therapy sessions I've ever seen. Every single time, it's just driving the relationships further apart. There's no way she's a therapist. This is cruel. <laughs> Matsu, come on, man. Like, when does it stop? <laughs> Why does his That's jaw do that thing? You guys notice that? Step. He's been doing that jaw thing like crazy. Look at this. Like, when does it stop? <laughs> Look at that. That's a flex. You're silent. Absolutely silent. You know, I like to be playful, and, and that's my personality. I'm sorry. Like, I get carried away. My energy just keeps going. But, Ryan, you gave her a room number, a phone number, and then at the end, oh, call me. Oh, you'll hear from me. You pushed the envelope with her. But Ryan, you literally took off your pants, let her slap you, uh, grab your ass, said, I like when you grope me, took her phone number, made plans to hook up later. That's just my energy, babe. Those are just my vibes. You know, it's just me being me. I would do that with like guys, like that's anything, you know, like. I obviously realize and admit that I have a lot of toolish characteristics and I don't want to fail at a relationship. You know, I want to change. I want to be better. So you're making some progress, you two. Well done. Is he? Let's Could continue saying that. on Edgar and Margo. Where are you from? I was like, she's born in Phoenix. Got family in New York. Yeah, Will he make every girl arouse? Yeah. Let's find out. Oh, that's too bad. I'm going to go to New York for a week. Uh -huh. I thought maybe you could show me around. You feel me? And I needed to sign with a place, baby girl. All right, good luck. God bless. I told you. I told you that my best friend would never cheat on you. I don't, don't believe it. I think he saw the camera because I'm pretty sure he was the one that said he's got girls named after every day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, for which ones come over to bang. So I'm pretty sure he saw the camera. I don't think he just instantly got fidelity or $100,000 on the line. How's that feel, Marco? You were pretty anxious, I think, to start off with. I don't know what to feel, to be honest with you. For me, it's not just passing one challenge. Every relationship, it's every day. Tomorrow's a new day. It's gotta continue. I, I mean, like, I know he's a flirt. What the fuck? I did really good that one time. You've had a good moment, and then now backtracking away from it. But I wanna leave it there with a good moment. You've done well, so stay with that. All right, Tommy, let's look one has passed. Okay, so let's do version first. So take the white shirt off. Just pink. Just the pink one? All right, I'm going over here in the corner. Stay there. You nice. Yeah. Actually, or something? No, no, because I haven't seen my girl in a couple of days. All right, I'm a little. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. What happens in LA stays in LA. You should get my number and maybe I should show you around. You know? No, not happening. All right. Good luck. Good for you. Good no, for you. Fine. I love this show. They're all just like, holy, holy fuck. Oh my god, how did he do that? Whoa! Couldn't be me. Wow. Good job, man. My idea of infidelity is as soon as you think about it, you're guilty. <laughs> Why are you zooming on that guy? Let's see his video. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty popular with the ladies, yeah? Yeah. Do you have a girlfriend? Kind of, no, kind of, not really. I have to just do my own thing. Do you have a boyfriend? No. It's good. That's pretty fast. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Thanks. You want to Ooh. Why is every fucking guy here like getting their ass slapped? What's going on here? I mean, I couldn't help myself. Let me get you a little Okay, he is going for it. Holy shit. You need to write it down for me. Okay, he was about to do it right there. There you go. You Don't touch me. No, no, no. no. Listen, listen to me. I don't even. Don't touch me. You know, the one thing that is so sacred to me is kissing any 
kissed her. But he crossed the line. Not just kiss it. He literally made plans to fuck. Not just kissing. How many more of them do you think are going to fail? I'm actually curious at this point. How many more of them do we think are going to fail? Because so many of them came in saying how much they cheat. I think there's got to be at least three more. I think three more. He kissed her. That's worse than sex to me. Because it's like the, one of the most intimate things that you have with somebody. That's just who I am, you know, and if she's not willing to, you know, accept that, then she's going to have to walk. Dude, these excuses, like, they're not even good at, not that I'm saying I'm, I know anything about it, but like, they're not even good at manipulating. Like, these are bad excuses. <laughs> That's just who I am. Like, come on, man. At least say something like, she hit on me. What was I supposed to do? Like, I felt weird. Like, I don't know. Maybe if you thought something else with that and then you could, you know, get out of it that way. You know what I mean? That's just how celebrity rolls. Celebrity is going to see a chick and he's going to talk to her. He's going to make her full of... And if she wants to kiss, you know, if she wants to go back to my hotel room, then that's what I'm going to do. Okay, hold on. Is he talking about himself in third person? Is his name Celebrity? That's just how Celebrity rolls? That's such an interesting nickname for somebody that's not a celebrity. <laughs> Basically, I just feel, you know, it's an addiction for me. You know, I have to do that. It's like a craving. It's like... You know, when someone's hungry and they want to go to the kitchen, you know. And I'm not going to work on it and I'm not going to get better. It's fun. I have a problem and I like I it. I know that's what you say. This is what celebrity does. But that's incredibly hurtful to your girlfriend. Is that something you'd like to sort of reframe and think about and maybe tell her another story? You know, seeing my girl, you know, down, seeing her cry, that kind of made me sad, you know. And it's just something that I wasn't prepared for. Meanwhile, he looks so emotionless. It doesn't even seem like he had any care in the world. And it kind of made him sad. Yeah, it kind of made me sad seeing her cry. A little, I guess. I do want to change. Don't. And I do apologize. Don't. And I know that I've been wrong for these last Stop. 10 years. And I don't want you to walk. I know I'm sad this. I'm ready to change. There's no more celebrity. It's Clarence. Oh, that was the best thing he could have said. Oh my God, that was the best thing he could have said. Actually, if he's trying to win her back, that might be big. Lose the nickname, and that means you've changed. That's really good, actually. I like that. Although I was looking forward to using celebrity going forward in this show, but now we gotta fucking call him Clarence. You know what? I actually get why he changed his name. I don't wanna fucking call him Clarence. You can't be a tool named Clarence. You can't be king douchebag named Clarence. Okay, so celebrity. Perhaps from now on, should we call you Clarence? Yes. This is a big step for you. Everyone's like, that? what the He's fuck? Going, is this growth? I don't know. Okay, the next couple we go to is Ashley and Josh. So you have a girlfriend? Yeah, I do have a very serious uh, commitment. Is she a pretty girl? She's pretty in her Don't talk about your you blow-up doll. Don't talk I mean, about your blow-up like, doll. You know how many beautiful girls are here? I mean, like, I don't know. Do you want to hang out? Like, stay there at all? I'll pass. Oh, okay. Right, well, that's well done. By the time I leave here, you know, I want her to know that I love her and we're going to have kids and we're going to be together forever. I don't believe your conviction and your girlfriend is still crying. I don't think she believes it either. He definitely just fucked the blow up doll before doing makeup and just like had no horniness left. Next, we'll go to Joey and Ashley. Definitely cheated. Yeah, definitely cheated. I definitely took the number. Yeah. Are you guys all really serious? Uh, to a point. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're not super serious. At what just point? Like, you should give me your number. I can do that. Yeah. What would we do if I did? Depends on the day. Just have to give me a buzz. Well, I don't want to get you in touch with your girlfriend. Well, then probably email would be better. Now. Oh, you're an email it... guy. But we can definitely hang out, right? Yeah. You're such a liar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so actually that was horribly painful for you. I found emails though. I totally called that one. That one was so easy to call. This relationship's fucking doomed. What about the emails? I found emails though. And it's always, oh, it's just a friend. It's just a friend. It's a person from Damn, class. this guy's a it's serial nobody. emailer. Was that for you crossing a line? Damn. I don't think that that's a line that's crossed in my eyes. Do you think that was a thing back in the day, email Riz? So do you think like they had to like come up with like really good headers and like ways to like sign off in a way that like kind of felt like you're down to hang out, but like also down to fuck, you know, like like best, but also sincerely, like which one's better, you know? Tell me more about that. It's an email address. It's contact information. I don't ever call them. I don't ever actually email them. Everybody's going to be different on it. I just want to like send her articles or something. I just want to like forward her fucking New York Times. Uh, it's just contacts. It's caused Ashley a lot of distress. I have a pyramid and marketing scheme. You crossed the line for her, so that's really important to know. Okay, next, Robert and Corrine. 
So, what do you do for fun? Judo and stuff like that. How's the see you do this stuff? <laughs> what, you can't throw me? He's gonna cheat. <laughs> oh my god, he always throws him! <laughs> I forgot that was his thing when they did the catwalk before. He's not gonna freaking flip one over, dude. He does that to me. Nice! <laughs> Whoa. He always flips girls. And, and then she was like in the aside, she's like, I thought he only flipped me. <laughs> Let's get a run back on that. Holy oh, shit. Wait, you can't throw me. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't really flip her. Kind of an unsuccessful flip, actually. The hell was that? I thought this guy only does that for a living and he can't fucking flip her? Damn. Your girlfriend's not gonna pick up the phone. No, she, she doesn't pick up my phone. Cool. All right, it's nice to meet you. Oh God. Do you think that he crossed the line? Yeah. Gave his number out. Perhaps. Something that he always is telling me, if you give a guy and your number, you know, done. You say it yourself, so it's okay for you. Have either of you ever cheated? I haven't touched a guy or kissed a guy since the day I met him. I've never cheated on you. I swear I've never cheated on you. I'm feeling like she doesn't trust me, but all she wants me to do is trust her. Now that's the real manipulation. This is the first guy, the first tool to actually show some decent manipulation skills. We have not seen any skills. Everyone just sucks. This is the first time where he's like, I haven't. Where's the fucking proof? Sue me. Flip it on her. I apologize. I shouldn't have gave her my number. That was stupid. I'm sorry I did that. Okay. Apology though. Nice. We've got one couple left. Sean and Jamie. Okay, oh, this is gonna be the big one. Do you have a girlfriend? No, actually, I'm single. I'm dead single. Dead single? Yeah. Pretty so, fast. like, for after the show, whatever, can I get your number? Did he ask her first? Did she even have to hit on him first, or did she just do it? Do you have a boyfriend? Yeah, you have a boyfriend? Uh, yeah. No. Do you have a girlfriend? No, actually, I'm single. I'm dead single. Dead single? Yeah. So, like, for after the show, whatever, can I get your number and, I don't know, take you out sometime? Whatever. You know, once I miss her, oh, awesome. Pretty straight up. I mean, you're a makeup artist. You're really cute. Got time. Shit. When is it ever going to be enough? Like, how many girls' numbers do you need to get to where it's enough? I wouldn't have called her. She was a five and you're a ten. I mean... Dude, I can't get over his fucking haircut. It really looks like the girl from Johnny K plus eight. Her haircut was just pasted onto his head. I, I, I wouldn't have called her. Like, I get numbers all the time just to see if I can get them. Yeah, but that doesn't change the fact that you still said you're single. I, 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 there's no excuse for doing that. I'm just a complete ass and I really like, I don't want to lose you over this. I, 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 I want to do whatever I can to make this up to you. I'm hearing empty words come out from that one. I feel like he just Chad GBT'd that real fast. That's just kind of what that felt like. I'm like, I'm like the champion of tools here and it really bums me out in a big way. I, I, I just don't want to lose you. I really want to be with you. I just want you what to is give this? me like a second chance. What is this? Oh my God. Who are you? Are you looking for somebody here? I'm Sean's girlfriend of six years. What? what? Are you serious? Sean. <laughs> oh, 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 fuck. <laughs> He's like looking around. Oh shit. F uh. <laughs> I didn't get to see other guys practice this one. I have no idea how to get out of this one. We're gonna have to see some advanced maneuvers from Sean here to get out of this entanglement. What? Are you serious? Sean. What? Sean. Would you like to come in? Absolutely. Thank you. Sean had to have himself because I smell and something didn't smell right. What the hell is going on, dude? <laughs> okay. Every okay, other guy in the room right now is like, at least I'm not this fucker. <laughs> you see, babe? I'm not that bad. Let's just settle down because could you would you like to explain to us who you are? My name is Ida and me and Sean have been going out for several years. And I really think you're taking my seat. Right, what the fuck? You came here to say that? Come on. I thought this was gonna be aimed at him. Why are you fucking attacking her? <laughs> Okay, hold on now. Okay. Sean, you do know her. Ashley, what the fuck? Um, yeah, I'm just like, I'm, I'm actually shaking. Like, this is like, mm. this is probably the craziest thing that's ever happened to me. Um, Jamie, do you know Ida? As his psycho ex-girlfriend. Is that so? So, Jamie, you thought that they weren't together anymore. Is that right? I thought he hated her. That's what he told me. You hate me? Oh, my God. Uh, okay, here's here, here here's the deal. It started getting a little bit rocky with me and Ida a couple months ago, and then I started dating Jamie, and then I slowly started getting back and seeing Ida. 
on a daily basis again and stuff. And then um, <laughs> I didn't even, I couldn't even imagine a million years that this would happen. Right? Bro is having a full out panic attack right now. This is legitimately a panic attack <laughs> and he is struggling his way through it. Um, I'm sincerely sorry from the bottom of my heart. I am the biggest ass in America and I feel like I could be a good person if I tried harder. To, to who? Fair question. I just been there for every single thing I've ever been through from day one. So I'm sorry, Jamie, like, I really do care about you, but he I mean. Did. He can be with her, he can do whatever he wants. It almost seems like he's more of a relationship with the other girl. I'm surprised this girl even is on the show, but I guess she's the one that called it in, so. <sighs> he's gonna lose a show if you walk off though. A hundred grand. He made me look like a complete fool. I don't want him as a friend. Like he is dead to me. Cry count 15. <laughs> Have you really been keeping account? Wow. <laughs> Maybe There's been a lot of tears about, this episode. Maybe we'll I'll spend a few minutes with you guys. All right, thank you very much for hanging in there. That was so much fun. Hey, Sean put his cape on and came and saved me. Just what I fucking said. Holy shit, literally what I said. Every other guy is like, thank fuck. That makes me look so good. <laughs> I mean, at least my cheating isn't that bad anymore. How are you uh, feeling now, both of you? Just tell me a little bit just where you are right now at this moment. Well, I had no idea that you had a relationship this closely with someone else. I mean, it, I mean, it, it obviously wasn't that you close. You lied to me. I just, never, I just never wanted to hurt you, Ida. And but you do it continuously. I mean, I'm an ass. I'm sorry about that in a big way. Five and a half years is a, is a very long time, isn't it, to have been together, quite honestly. I came here because I have been through so much with him. and I just don't good, believe, I mean, like, there's no way, right? Six years and you guys aren't living together? And you were able to keep this under wraps? Like, they're not living together. I don't even understand this dynamic. Good. When he's bad, he's terrible. But I would hate to think that the time that I've invested, the pain I've been through has been all for nothing. Do you think you should stay in the academy? And that's going to be obviously on everybody's mind. I think I should stay in the academy because I'm obviously a bigger tool than anybody else here. <laughs> I thought I could live a double life with two girls at the same time. What a justification. I should stay here because I am the biggest tool. I should stay in the running. They kick off the biggest tool every week, bro. You're in the most risk of getting kicked off. You can't move forward in therapy or counseling holding secrets. So having this sort of secret and dual life, you would never really been able to make progress. Okay, I'm really sorry, okay? And, and oh, it's a cry, add it to the cry count. Really I'd be really lucky to have you back in my life, 100%, and to be my girl. Okay, I'm gonna put money on it. I think we're gonna see a conversation with Jamie right after this where he kind of says the same exact thing to her. <laughs> I think that was an impulsive decision, but let's see. This is the last chance. I'd like to at least know that I tried my hardest and I walked away from Does this she take the seat of Jamie everything now? Everything I had to make this work. Well done. And that's what's all it's going to take. It's just a chance. I do love you. I love you. Wow. Oh, please rag on him. Please destroy him. Shiny boy. What do you say? I mean, if you're in my shoes. <laughs> I just got to say thank you for making me look better. <laughs> that was a bomb, bro. You know, that was like Hiroshima. But let's concentrate on like the positive thing. I did have That two was like positive. literally worse than Hiroshima. <laughs> Girlfriends, dude. <laughs> At one point, I mean, anyway. <laughs> Cheers to that, baby. Cheers, dude. God, they go right back to being tools immediately. I wish they would, in the next hearing or whatever, show them immediately after that therapy session when they're all in the room, because you know they're saying shit. And then they show that in the next therapy session. That would be so funny. I oh, know it's the other girl from moving in. <laughs> Hi, girls. When Ida walked into the house, I was like, who does this bitch think she is? Whoa, whoa, the girls are kind of being tools now. Holy shit, I mean, she hasn't really done anything yet. It's your boyfriends are the problems, chill out. I was just pissed, because Ida and Sean's situation is so ridiculous and over the top that I just don't want to have anything to do with her. I know your worst impression of me hasn't been great. You probably all think I'm stupid for being with a guy like Sean. There's parts of him that you don't know yet. I've known him for a really, really long time, and he needs help, and I'm here to help him. 
Right, but my question is, why do you feel you deserve to be here more than us? I didn't say that I deserve to be well, here. Well, you more being than here is saying it. What is happening? Why are they out for here. blood? They sat there and judged me before they even had a chance to even get to know me. Whatever idea you have of him, I just want you all to know that I've seen the good in him, and I want to bring that person out. No, 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 no. Listen to me. Listen to me for a minute. Your boyfriend failed. He f up royally. You see what I'm saying? don't understand at all what's happening. I don't know why they're attacking her. She seems to have nothing to do with this. I think Ida's the one who really needs to be here rather than Jamie. I think basically everybody should mind their freaking business. Now this is the opportunity to read. No, his opportunity is over as far as I'm concerned. It's frustrating. I'm really the girlfriend. Jamie's the one that's the other girl. It's hard. I want them both to stay. I think it'd be way funnier that. if they keep Ida and Jamie and going forward, they have to be in all the competitions together. I think that's way more fun. Please report to the front for the Fidelity competition. This show I fucks so hard. It does. I just wanted to run to Sean and just like cry to him. I just want to share this experience with him, not these people. Okay, I think she is Yesterday's a little crazy. Therapy. Infidelity can destroy the bonds of trust. So. It's time to rebuild those relationships. Wait till you guys hear about open relationships. And rely heavily on one another in a dance competition. Be walked down for the next dance. Challenge. What a way to build dance. trust. Let's fucking dance. All right, well, you're not going to be left alone. Here to help you guys is John Cassessi, the dance doctor. The dance doctor? <laughs> Dance instructor reminded me of like Ron Jeremy's brother. Yeah, I was about like, to say that. That does look like Ron Jeremy. He's to teach you the most romantic dance. The it tango. could be Ron Jeremy. To dance the tango well, it requires a deep connection and a trust between the partners. Absolutely. The lady has to give it up and let the man do the leading. For the competition, you're going to learn the same routine, add your own individual flair, and rename it to best represent you as a couple. You will have a couple hours to practice. Where's Kip? And this is the same house from Claim to Fame. Yes, I figured that out, and it was incredible that I figured it out. So at stake in today's challenge is the first conjugal visit. Yeah! <laughs> I'm stoked, you know? I need a conjugal visit like the this dentist guy's face needs a rain. Worse every time. John, they're all yours. Good luck. Thank you very much. Ladies, we're going to cross the right over left and swivel. One. Please Many let them dance with other people's girlfriends just to spice it up. I'll be watching to see which of the guys make the effort to rebuild the bonds of trust with their partners through their dancing. What I observe will help me determine who will be expelled from the academy. She's acting like a villain from Knives Out. I don't get it. Well, maybe it's just the accent, but her being in the chair, its I get bad vibes from it. Just do it over and over from the top. Sorry, I was looking for you to pull me. Oh my gosh, I can't do it. Lunge. Transfer, take a little bit smaller steps, okay? Why do you do that better than me? <laughs> oh, monster flex, flex in. My biggest challenge with Ida right now, I think, is rekindling what we've always that had. That shirt is way too tight. And though. getting her trust back completely. Also, I never realized his name is spelled Sean, S-H-A-W-N. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck right off. Still this one, left leg? No. Left leg. Come on. Do it again. Joey can be oh, emotionally no abusive. Rhythm. It's like he, you know, thinks he can kind of control me. You only did one step there. Why aren't you listening to me? Step, step. Dude, that guy is I gotta be, Sean's I think the worst fives of the show, I think the one that actually looks like it has some like domestic abuse problems is is that dude. That dude, the one that said he's trained her. Dude, that guy gives me the worst vibes here. Side, step. I'm gonna go like this. Ow. Oh, we have no trust. This is over. I'm not going to look right because I'm not a size two. I don't look right. Josh doesn't look right. And we're going to look like idiots. I wanted to give up so bad. This sucks, Josh. It sucks. Ashley's feeling incredibly insecure. Let's hope Josh gives her the support she needs. I mean, some people just can't dance, yeah, but I'm surprised they're not like laughing, giggling, and having like a good time. Yeah. You should be laughing, not fucking getting pissed off and start crying. I was getting frustrated because she wasn't listening to me. She wasn't listening to the training I was giving her. No, right leg. Like, yeah, it's like chill. All right, let's see these fucking dancers, huh? Your judges tonight will be your instructor, John Cassessi, and international ballroom champion, Mary Murphy. I thought you it was may all out of for a second. Our first couple on but the dance But her face floor, is permanently Josh stuck in a smile. Ashley. What have you named your dance? Jersey, Jersey Tango, Tango, baby. Ready? One, two, three, go. Up. Oh, 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 come on, <laughs> come, okay. on. Come, on okay. come on. All right, baby, okay. come on. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Hold up, hold up. 
breaking each other's arms. Josh was on my side. He didn't give up on me. He didn't say, you know what, screw it. We can't do it. He supported me, and I loved it. Nice. You're definitely from Jersey, brother, and we saw that. No doubt, no <laughs> doubt, baby. <laughs> Not to be mean, but I, what is up with this woman? She is giving me crazy vibes. I, I don't know who she is. She is freaking me out. This challenge is about more than- And I don't like her coming after Jersey. What I'm the looking fuck? to see who reconnects with their partner after a rather devastating therapy session. Oh, Matsu Flex. Oh, fucking Matsu Flex. Of course you gonna fucking dance. Holy shit. <laughs> I just finished. Oh my God. Matsu Flex was Jenna crazy. Had excellent chemistry and eye contact. A big change from their therapy session. Kareem and Robert. Okay, of course he's gonna go for that move. End it with In the flip, please. Ida and Sean. Nah, no flip, zero. Next couple, Ashley, Joey. Okay, this is gonna be awful. Roman warrior thrown around. Joey barely made eye contact with Ashley during their tango. I just didn't see any real passion. And for the final performance of the evening, Clarence, Cameron. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> Dude, he's twerking before twerking was even invented. What Clarence the fuck? renounced his flamboyant alter ego celebrity just yesterday. But it looks like celebrity is back, putting on a oh. one-man show instead of rebuilding a bond with Cameron. <laughs> I loved it. All right, the judges have written in their final scores. Here in my hand, I have the results. God damn. For the following top three couples, please join me here on the stage. All right, it I'm better be... Fuck, here I called one. Oh, do we see their dance? Matsu what the fuck Flex was their dance? And Jenna. It better be Matsu and that'd be Claire. And couple number three, Kareem and Robert. Ah, all right, never mind. I knew that if I won this, then it would stop me from being eliminated. And now I have no clue if I'm going to be eliminated. And I'm really scared about it. I don't want to go home. And Get Robert. home. Matsu Flex and Jenna. There was no rush about the way that you guys did anything. It was very sensual, very sexy, wouldn't you think? Very, very. <laughs> See, they're feeling it too. Krista, I'm not weird. Guys Fuck you guys. Between you. And although the material I gave you was very complicated, I think you handled it very well. All right, folks. The winner of the Tangle competition and it's be Matsu, the right? first conjugal visit is... It's gotta be Matsu. Here in my hand, I have the results. Is right, Ryan Seacresting us? The winner of the Tangle competition and the first conjugal visit is Jenna and Matsuflex. Goddamn right. Congratulations, guys. You are going to have the first conjugal visit tonight. <laughs> Frankly, I think it's not going to go down. She still loves black men. And until he changes his complexion, does it reverse Michael Jackson? He may have wait, long what is nights. happening? Wait, wait, when did she say she likes black guys over Matsu? When is that? You are going to have the first conjugal visit <laughs> tonight. Frankly, I think it's not going to go down. She still loves black men. And until he changes his complexion, does it reverse When Michael did Jackson? she say that? He They're in a relationship. When did she say that? Oh, Matsu said that she's been with three black men before him. Oh, okay. Dude, Mega took that and ran with it. And he's like, I'm next. Look the fuck out, Matsu. He's randomly throwing shade at the really relationship now. Me? Because I don't have sex doesn't mean I'm not horny. I'm nervous to have sex with Ryan because the three guys that I've slept with have always been black. There it is. <laughs> I'm nervous because he's not black. What could happen in there? It's gonna be so different. It's gonna be crazy in there. No, I remember now. I remember now. Do they have to have sex? Yeah. <laughs> it did seem like they had to, right? That's kind of what she was Im implying there. Like, I'm kind of nervous like that we have to have sex tonight on camera. Masu should have been a gentleman because he's not going to take full advantage of his conjugal. Who's this guy? Split it between me and Tommy and we would have made full use. What, what's he going to do with his girl? Cuddle? The conjugal visit got all wasted on Masu flex. I would have had the ears by the ankles, man. You know, I would have done... I, I would have made... Scratch that ears by the ankles. I don't want to piss my chick off. I would have made sweet, sweet love to my woman. What the fuck did he just say? What was that sentence? What's up, guys? <laughs> what did you do on your contour? That's all I want to know. <laughs> Nothing happened in that house, bro. Oh, 
Okay. Bro, what the are you doing? You're wearing some that like the gayest of strippers don't wear, bro. <laughs> Macho Flex comes back and he is assless I underwear. And I wouldn't even call it a jock strap. This thing was just disgusting looking. Who even gave you this outfit, bro? I did not. I chose it. Oh, my oh God. My. Wow. Macho Flex crazy, bro. I've identified one man who hasn't shown enough progress and must be expelled from the academy tonight. All right, get Sean, his gross-ass name and haircut, out of this house. I'm so nervous about elimination. I swapped out my one girlfriend for my other real girlfriend. So I just know that my I'm screwed other real really girlfriend. Quick. I've been trying to fix him for a really long time, and I really can't do it alone. Give up, Ida. Give the fuck up. It's been six years, and he had another girlfriend. Why are you still trying to fix him? What is wrong with you? Welcome, gentlemen. It's elimination time. Once again, your cases have been reviewed. Do you Pass know who I think he week. looks like? Hold on, real fast. I think he might look like the guy from fucking the alpha male boot camp. Real fast, sorry, okay. quickest detour ten. ever. You're gonna be like, holy shit, that's actually him. Brad Lee. This guy, dude, he looks just like that guy. Yo, tell me that doesn't look like that fucking guy. Am I not on the fucking money? No? Really? Y'all are crazy. Okay, whatever. There are eight of you remaining. You guys gaslight me right now. But only you guys learned too much from this show. You guys learned how to gaslight, and now you're doing it to me. I see what you're playing. I see what you're doing. It's not gonna work. One of you will be expelled. If you are expelled, your girlfriend and the fate of your relationship will be waiting outside. You guys are out Some of you resisted temptation at the photo shoot, while others reconnected with your partner in the tango competition. Therefore, you've earned the merit badge for fidelity. Will the following gentlemen please step forward? God, who's gonna be just a tool Tommy. tonight? Oh, Joshua. Mega. Robert. Looks just like Matsu Flex. Matsu Flex. No, he ain't going home. My Matsu man panties and the Matsu pop pop magic is gonna be bringing the heat. Will the three remaining tools? I think he's my Clarence, favorite. <laughs> Sean, Joey, please step forward. I hope he has a change for the better. Three of you remain. We only have two badges left. One what do we of got? We got Sean, Clarence, and who? Oh, cowboy hat? That fucker? So it's either cowboy hat or Sean. I am the most infidel out of anybody. Cowboy hat is such an asshole, though, that he might be saved. Okay, all right. Who's going home? Go ahead. You think cowboy hat's gonna save Sean? He is an asshole. They might want to give Sean another chance. I mean, they brought his other girlfriend of six years on the show. It'd be kind of lame if they kicked him off right away. Sean's storyline, yeah, it's too fresh. We set up a lot for it. It would be kind of disappointing. All right, I'm hoping it's cowboy hat. I'm really hoping that Joey wasn't gonna walk out the door. Joey. This is his final okay. chance. I mean, if, if he screws up, like, Cow cowboy hat is I'm Joey. not gonna put up with it anymore. Clarence, Sean, Joey, three of you remain. We only have two badges left. One of you will be expelled and have to leave immediately. Clarence, in therapy, you renounce the name celebrity and promise to change. But in the challenge, your showboating seemed more like celebrity than Clarence. Oh, Frankly, come on. He was just having fun, therapist lady. What the fuck? You gave them a dance competition. He can't fucking have fun? I don't know about that one. If I could do a backflip, I'm doing that in the dance competition. Your issues with infidelity are staggering. But you seem very connected to Ida in the tango challenge. You're doing good, babe. Doing good, babe. God, they have so much chemistry. Uh, Joey. You had an easier time connecting with the makeup girl at the photo shoot than to Pick your own off girlfriend, Joey, dude. who's devoted her life to you. And in the tango challenge, there were moments where you were a bully to Ashley. I was like, yep, fact. Yes, I was. Clarence, because of your sincere plea to change in therapy, I'm willing to stick with you to see if celebrity will truly disappear. You have passed. Wow. Please step forward and accept your tool badge. Your tool badge, nice. I have no idea what's happening. We're trying to find out who's the bigger tool. Who's the bigger fucking tool douchebag and who's gonna get kicked off? Focus. If you are expelled, your girlfriend and the fate of your relationship will be waiting outside. Holy shit, please be Joey. Sean, the tenderness you showed Ida during the tango challenge saved you. You're hanging by a thread, but for now, 
you have passed. Yeah, I knew they had to. This character arc is too fresh. You're right. I was like, oh. I've never been this excited in my life to get any badge ever. I mean, I was a Boy Scout and I got a lot of merit badges, but this one was like the one that really counted in a big way. Thank you so much. This guy's such a fucking doofus, dude. So, Joey, it's evident that Ashley wants this so much. He's got a long ass neck. Watching you, I'm not sure that you feel the same. You don't even seem aware that you've got more neck than face. Joey, I'm sorry. You're just a tool. Mm. God, that line always hits so hard, dude. Fuck. Please hang up your jacket and the armoire on your way out. Good luck. Okay, how do we think this is gonna go? Is she gonna accept him? Are they gonna hop in the limo together? Or is he gonna be even more abusive when he comes back to her now? She's gonna start crying. Cry count's going up for sure. Immediate tears. I know it. I know it. Excuse me, girls. They let me go. Well, you know Call what? that one. That's the best thing I've ever happened. Because coming here made me realize what a d I've been. <laughs> that was 95% me and 5% you. So I would be honored if you would. Okay, okay, a- hold on. To be fair, even though he's been the worst, those are real tears. Unless he's really, really good at emotional manipulation. That's the first time we've seen a guy on this show actually cry. Kind of crazy. Another chance in us go home together. 5% you. I kind of forgot about that. 5% you is actually kind of crazy. <laughs> it is 95% me. Not like even 99? 95% me. 5% you. How long do you want to be with me? For the rest of my life. <laughs> okay. Good answer. Good answer. If he said a year, I don't think that would have flown. Let's go home. Love you guys. Ashley and Joey got in the car together. Oh, it's not gonna work. True, but like I can say true. Jen, I don't think you can say true. <laughs> You're in the same fucking predicament. Could be worse. There are some messed up people in there. Okay, that was fun. <laughs>